Good afternoon. A short day to day trading. It is the 3rd of, 3rd of July 2023. And on this half day, this is my trade review. So I've got the MES chart open on my on my screen at the moment. I'm looking at a five minute time scale. And I took a few trades today. Not a great day trading. I made a loss, um, but it was more down to um, Here's your reminder. my reminder to get out of my trade. trades. The um, futures market closes at 1.15 today, rather than an hour later. So I had to put a reminder to remind me to get out of my futures trades, which I'm already out of. So looking at the chart, I've got the five minute open. And this morning I, I mentioned this level 44.80. And it was only gonna, it's only a scalp and it always was a scalp. And I actually got in at, the level was 44.85. But my entry is 44.80, so just a very light position. I had a start position on that, so uh, so I ran it up to the VWAP and I got out, and that was okay. Um, and then I was on the two-minute chart. There's quite a few um, top tails, and I still had one of my um, contracts left, so I left a 50% or I, I took two contracts at the bottom, and then to go to the two-minute. So I got in just there and I saw these topping tails and it looked weak the market. So that's my entry. My first exit was up here. And then I saw these topping tails and then I saw this big red um, um, topping tail and it looked like it was going to break back down again. So I got out of the trade as it broke this candle, these, this lower bit here. So, so in there and I was out there and there. And that always was a scalp. And in fact, I was so sure it was going to break back down and hit the bottom again. I actually reversed my position. So I, so I instead of instead of just getting out for profit, I went I went short. And then obviously you can see what happened. The next candle, it stopped me out just there. So it wasn't very good. And then I started to notice that we were getting this uptrend. And I was about here when I got into my next trade. So technically, if we cancel out the stupid reversal I did there, it could be really it could have been an ad. And I got into old habits where I reversed my position where I should have really realised that it was putting in a higher high and a higher low. And it should have been an ad position, probably an ad about there, rather than me getting out and reversing. So so I got in around there and interestingly I was watching the volume so from the open we had these two double bottom tails and that and, and obviously you get high volume anyway so that's the reason I got in long as a scalp and then and then we saw a bit of the volume declining as it was um, starting to pull back and I ignored that I should have really noticed that as a um, pullback and an ad position because it did exactly what volume and anal price analysis tells you um, on volume declining on a pullback and then a big increase of volume on the next candle and disappointing you know I was already um, at break even really because I, cause I didn't really I let my stop stop me out too much and and I did try reshorting again here and again um, sorry I, I Start again. I tried to reshort here as well because I thought it was going to break back down again because it was playing this level and that was just a fake breakout. And this was a fake breakout here. And again, I stopped out again. So I was down by this point, which is a bit annoying. But it wasn't too bad because I did identify. And in my mind, I even, I even wrote down in my journal that we're in an uptrend. And I really mustn't, I really should not ignore my gut feeling because my gut feeling was right and volume analysis was correct so like I said we had that declining volume there as it's pulling back then we had increasing volume on this push back up and then if you look it's, it's perfect volume analysis and then it's declining again on this next bit of reducing volume and then big volume bar as we push back up again and then we just chopped around so that was a bit of a choppy area there and 
you can see that on the volume chart it was below average volume so we wasn't doing much um, we had a little bit of, of a ri rise in volume on for this spike back down again but nothing major and that was it really I was just chopping myself out and I was trying to catch the range at one point I was long down here another point I was short up here and I did catch it in a few places and then I wanted to get short this level here and so I averaged in there, there, and there. And on the spy, let me flick over to the spy to show you why I was taking that level. On the spy, I was trying to catch, I was, I was within this um, area of, well, this zone, this green zone. And even though I was averaging in, averaging in early, I was trying to catch this bounce here it was, uh, and I wanted that to come back down and then I and then I wanted to catch just averaging to get into this area here so I bought in here a few times I was a little bit oversized and the market was hardly moving and I should have known better really and we'll see at the end of the day we saw these two big topping towers so I got short again and I took some profits there I added again up here and I took some out when the market closed. But let's go back to ES because that's where I what the chart I was using. And maybe that's better. So I I shorted I think I took a short here, another one here, and I was trying to buy every every top. And then I took a short up here as well. And and did eventually get out, and I did okay. But overall, my my averaging in zone was far too wide, and I should have probably just stopped out there instead of trying to use this entire area as a zone for shorting, because the market wasn't moving very well. And I tried my best analysing the volume, but I don't think the volume really reflected the actual true market today. Apart from when we had high volume in the morning, because these are perfect plays every time we pulled back we saw the volume decline so it declined there declined there started to decline there and you know I should have been away from my computer from this point onwards I should have been out of the trade and with my kids um, taking them down the park or something but no I decided to sit in there all day and trying to short what I thought were the tops there 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 and just for a minor bit of profit here, which kind of made me, it was it was a red day overall, but not a great day. Anyway, that's my day. Got a big volume spike there. That's a, that one there was a big alarm bells on this one, and so uh, so as soon as I saw that, I knew I'd be okay. But I got out up here because I didn't want to. I got out here and here, and I, t I think I took I had a few shares left to get out, a few contracts left to get out there as well. And then the rest I just got out there. So not brilliant trading and hopefully um, next week will be better. Anyway, have a good day and enjoy your celebrations and your holiday tomorrow. Okay, take care.